Havoc comes to the world in Justice League of America issue 1. In Gotham, Batman and Vixen patrol the city, with the Vixen telling Batman that the team they have assembled thus far is far from ready. But Batman says that he will help them get into shape, and he says that people need to see beings like themselves being heroes. In Vanity City, Black Canary and The Ray help save people from a homeless shelter fire. Canary says that the fire on the homeless shelter wasn't even called into the fire brigade, and Ray says that that's just how it goes in the city, that no one listens to other people's problems. In the Pacific Ocean, Lobo fights off some creatures near a burning oil rig. Saying he usually doesn't help with these sorts of things, but the fire was bothering the local sea life, and he hates seeing dolphins cry. At the sanctuary, Caitlin looks for Ryan, who is busy fixing the base's computer tech. Caitlin says that she has plans for a new base generator. Wanting to keep his distance from the quote unquote killer Frost, Ryan says that he was working on their trouble alert, which will alert the team to where they need to be. In Saratoga, Lord Havoc and his captains arrive, saying he is there to save the world. Finishing work on the trouble alert, the news opens with reports of Lord Havoc's arrival in Saratoga. In Gotham, Batman interacts with the other JLA members, who begin to bicker about who is in charge. Meanwhile, Havoc has decimated Saratoga. Meanwhile, Havoc has decimated Saratoga. Die Hard tells Havoc more people must die so a message can get through to the other people. He talks about how his world was much like Earth, where its people turned on one another and destroyed everything. He and his captains offer their services as protectors for this planet. The JLA arrive and attack Havoc and his captains. Havoc offers them an alliance, but the JLA isn't interested in joining a killer. Getting ready to put up a light perimeter to hide the battle from the people, Batman says it's time for Havoc to find out who they really are. As the team fight, Ryan can't believe he has gotten himself into this mess, and when he tries to shrink into Havoc's armor to disrupt it, he is reverted back to full size and knocked out. Havoc grabs hold of him, ready to kill him, but Batman comes forward, offering himself as a hostage in return for Ryan's release. So, first issue and we are getting right into the action with Lord Havoc making an appearance. He's quite a very obscure villain to draw from, uh, which is great as well since this is sort of like this new team, so you get an older villain that you can kind of re boot and kind of make new again, which is kind of like what they're doing here, which is really cool. The team, however, is kind of falling into that whole cliched, they don't want to get along with each other sort of thing that often happens in these sorts of situations. Though the cool thing is that they've sort of changed it up a little bit where certain members sort of interact well in groups of like two or three. They don't interact well as a big group, but like Ray and Black Canary interact really well together. Uh, Vixen and Killer Frost do. It's really only Lobo who is kind of stirring the shit a little bit. And for good reason, obviously, that's sort of like his thing. Like he likes doing stuff like that. So I imagine we'll get a bit more about that. But also I imagine by the end of this arc, they'll come to quote unquote respect one another and sort of work together as a team. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. And Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section below or follow the links on screen now to other reviews or topic videos. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe for more weekly reviews and videos.